What's up, y'all? In this video, we are going to go over the Schlage Keyway Quick Set Smart Key Cylinder. That's right, these are a thing. These have been out for about a year. And as I mentioned on Saturday Morning Live Season 4, Episode 45 last week, there are some people out there who are still not familiar with these because luckily we're still not seeing them on the big box store shelves. But yes, it's a Quick Set branded Quick Set with a Schlage Keyway. Not the same as the old Schleg Secura key, where you had to have a blue key to reset it. This is actually built pretty much identical to the quick set, the KW1 Keyway smart key cylinder, where you just turn it and then put a little tool in the hole and then take it out. But on the inside, it's built differently. Now, the problem with that is, number one, the cradle or the better resetter, either one is not going to work for it, even though... This is set up for Schlage Secure Key. The way they designed these to make it work for the zero through nine depths compared to one through six on Quickset, they had to redo the little wafers inside. And we're gonna take this apart without a key going on the, the thing that, you know, as a locksmith, you go out to re-key one, they're like, oh, I don't have a key for it. So you have to hard reset it because a lot of us uh, don't wanna buy that. I have not, I've not seen it in the year that they've been out. I don't want to buy another cradle because cradles suck. So we need to learn how to reset it if you don't have a key because that's the most common thing that you might run up on in the future. So hopefully this video will help you. The only good thing that I see about these is the body of it's the same. So if you've got a Schlage or a, or a quick set or a Baldwin handle set, now Baldwin traditionally was always a Schlage keyway. Then they hit the big box market and they start putting quick set KW1 keyway cylinders in them. So if somebody had Baldwin locks on their house or Schlage locks for that matter, and they bought one of those, they didn't understand they want it keyed the same. They want the same key to fit it. And their Schlage key wouldn't fit Baldwin. Even their Baldwin cylinder, their Baldwin key that fits all their other doors wouldn't fit it even though it says Baldwin. A lot of people just don't understand that. The good thing about these cylinders is with those handle sets because instead of just a round deadbolt typically they've got a a shape like a crown type design shape to match the thumb thing so the great thing about these cylinders even though they're smart key is that you can pop out those quick set keyway cylinders and slip in a schlage keyway to match their other locks so that's the good thing about it the other good thing about it is they they did redesign these a little bit differently they seem, I don't know, that you know, they're not on the shelves yet. I personally haven't even seen one in the field, knock on wood, but that's not to say that they're going to start showing up one day. So we need to go ahead and learn how to take these guys apart, which we are going to do. Ken Nixon did a rather exhaustive video too, actually, on taking them apart, showing high quality images on them, counting and showing all the little parts and pieces, which we are going to look at. Uh, and, uh, and, but I just, I want to learn, we need, I need to hands on, uh, learn how to take this guy apart. So hopefully this video will help you if you ever run across one. Uh, let's get started doing it. All right. Where's my tripod? All right. As I mentioned, this is just a quick set deadbolt and you can yank out the, uh, the clip here and try to get in the Schlage. So if you have a deadbolt on the door, like I said, if you've got a deadbolt with the quick set keyway, if you bought a bold one deadbolt and it's got this quick set keyway cylinder in it, you can just you can just drop in and make it the same as all your other ones. Now, earlier when I was trying to put this on, it was really, really tight. I did notice it's at first I thought it was like bad or something because it was not going in, but with enough pressure here, which is not great, but there we go. You, you do have to kind of force it. I'm not sure what the, it's got to be a real slight difference in that, but it does work. Uh, it is kind of hard to get this clip on and off. So we're going to go ahead and take this off real quick. And I want to take it apart like we have no key for it, because again, that's what you're probably going to be faced with as a locksmith when you get called out to a house. Oh, there goes that clip. So, pick it apart. And uh, one thing I did notice in Ken's video, which I am going to post the link up here, but I did notice that it is 
a little tricky. If we get this better resetter, with the regular quick set, you, you press down, well, that's not the right end. You press down, and you see those, uh, those wafers? This is how the better resetter works. You just push this in, and then kind of turn it, and it, and you can reset it. However, if you look at these wafers uh, on the inside, some of them don't really push in very well. And that's because of how they're designed. We'll see that when we get in. The reason this doesn't work is because of how they are built. They all will not push in at one time together. So you do have to take them apart if you don't buy the cradle. The cradle is not like the other cradle. Let's see. see is that going to work? I said it wasn't going to work, but it may. I don't know. It's, the spacing's a little bit different, so that may be an issue. Yeah, I see it's... They're not all pushing down at the same time. This guy is a little tough to, to deal with sometimes, too. But if we look at the two, the quick set keyway, the reset is on the left-hand side. Schlage's on the right-hand side. So with the quick set, you would turn it to the right 90 degrees and put it in and pull the key out. But on the Schlage one, you have to turn it to the left or counterclockwise to do so. And uh, again, it's the same thing. You just push in. Pull the key out, get your Baldwin key or whatever, put it in, turn it. So, yeah, no big deal, except when you don't have a key for it. Now, one thing about following these guys out, let's get a pickle fork here that is used to pull off the clip. All Baldwin handle sets, any Baldwin stuff you get at a big box store is going to be based on the Schlage or on the quick set format. So, it's going to use all the same latches and everything. Uh, but one thing I noticed, you know, you could take this and in Ken's video, he said the easiest way to do it is take your key and then turn it. Whoop, oh, no, we reset it to this key, didn't we? Turn it 180 degrees and then just pull it out. Well, if you don't have the key, that can be a little ticky to do because of how these wafers work. Now, you can just carefully push and then push down and push that down and push that down but see see how that wafer right there is not going down i think i found a better way to do this uh let us grab a depth and space key set and because if you put a if you put any key in there like a blank key they're going to be sticking out the top or the bottom whatever so i'm going to grab like a number Let's say like a middle of the ground. Okay, let's say number six. How about that? Number six. And make sure none of them are sticking out right there. Is that going to let us push it out? Look at that. Easy, easy. That makes it a lot easier. So once again, depth and space keys are better than, uh, than you find a whole bunch of uses for those. I've done a video on it. All right, let's go ahead and take this guy apart and look at the differences in it. If you watch his video, which I highly recommend you do, you will see that the wafers are absolutely designed differently. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take this guy off. This is your chamber. Don't forget there's a spring right there. It is captured in one end, but that does not mean that will still not, you know, come out. It can come out at any given time. You give it a little tug and it's, it's in there, but it could fall out. So. When you're taking this guy apart to reset it, make sure you, you kind of lay it out just right. But see, that's the one thing. Look at that. With quick set smart key, those wafers just fall out. They're not held in. On this guy, they're actually held in, which is very, very interesting. If we take this off, see, just grab this. And look at that. See how it's got that little, little notch? Okay, showed you a little picture of it there. And this, you know, just like Quick said, it's got to have this little groove in there to, to ride. And in Ken's video, he, uh, and unlike the Quick Set Keyway Smart Key, 
it, it's actually possibly a little bit easier to take this. There may be another way to do it, but this is what he did, so that's what I'm going to do. And just take all the wafers off. And, uh, and again, you can't pull it straight out because they hook into that little little guy right there. Uh, am I putting that on upside down? You need to make sure it goes on, all right? Nope, I was putting it in upside down. So this guy goes towards the top. So I guess what we do is we just lay them all out in the sidebar, which is a, uh, a Gen 3. There's your sidebar right there. Oh, chew. Or you could just lose them. Who cares? Just take all the wafers out. Key will work then, all right? And we're just going to center it right there on the sidebar. Make sure you put your wafers up. And then put it back together and squeeze it just like you do a smart key, a regular smart key. So, doop, 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 doop. Take this off, take this off. That, just like that. Take this off. These are actually a little bit easier because, number one, they kind of, you know, like almost stay into this position. Now, remember, when you're putting this on, they do have to, each one of those little bars, this seems like it would be counterproductive to do this because each one of those little grooves in the wafers has to slide in, but, but it actually does kind of work. Watch your spring there. We're going to squeeze it down, just like that, and let it go to make sure they all hook in there. They do. All right, we're going to pull this back down all the way. We had it on that key, so let's put it on this key. I'm holding, holding pressure this way. Insert, let go and put it back in whichever way it'll go in just like that and there you go resetting the key it seems to be a little bit easier because of how those are captured i, I like that we do need to go ahead and check it though make sure that our reset function still works so we'll go ahead and push that in doesn't really click it more just kind of spongy we hear the snap so yep that's all there is to it uh, pretty interesting system you know it, it has to have some people have said oh it doesn't it doesn't use all the depths it'd be silly for them to design something that didn't use all the depths for a uh, for a smart key or for a Schlage key because any key could be any number of depths so there we go that's that's it y'all that's pretty easy to do so that's one good thing about it i guess and this product number if you google it 85174 is a couple of a couple of distributors lock distributors have it uh, i personally don't order from one of them but you can get them if you need them the only reason i would see you needing them again is if somebody had a baldwin quickset keyway handle set and they wanted to match it in that case, it'd be a good idea to maybe keep one or two of the cylinders on hand, but hopefully they don't start pushing out a bunch of Schlage Keyway Quickset branded locks on big box store shelves. Because as we all know, especially since we just had that Defiant electronic deadbolt, the sale for this year's uh, Black Friday sale come up, it was a Schlage Keyway, mostly Defiant is Quickset Keyway. So, that's the biggest problem with the, this mixing and matching of, of keys is people have a quick set key, you know, they got, they got quick set keys. And if a box store starts putting these on the shelves with a Schlage key and they buy a bunch of them and you get called out to put them in and they're like, what do you mean? What do you mean my quick set key won't key up to that quick set lock? You're an idiot. I hired an idiot. So, you know, that's what it is. If you have any questions or comments on it, I would highly suggest, again, I'm going to put the link at the end of this video that you watch Ken Nixon's video if you're interested in the breakdown and how half-cut keys work in it. He did like this whole spreadsheet thing 
on uh, on half cut and, and and how the keys were working with each other. So that's as far as the detail I'm going into because I hate smart key. Right. 